very difficult time in his life. He said, I had received some sad news from home. Deep shadows had covered my soul. I prayed, but the darkness did not vanish. I summoned myself to endure, but the darkness only deepened. Then I went to an inland station and saw on the wall of this mission home these words, try thanksgiving. I did. And in a moment, every shadow was gone, not to return. Amen. Yes, the psalmist was right. It's a good thing to give thanks to the Lord. If you've been going through some difficult times, have you been going through some impossible times? Have you prayed, but these problems persist? Have you prayed, but they still there? Have you told yourself that you must keep going, and it would one day disappear, but it got even deeper? Then why not try Thanksgiving? ungrateful spirit, passing on this ungrateful spirit, depriving us and all those that we can change to hearts of thanksgiving. Today, Lord, first and foremost, we want to repent of that. Yes, because your word says that we must be thankful in everything. Your word says that we must rejoice in you, not in our circumstances, but rejoice in you, regardless of our circumstances. Oh Lord, we so desperately need you. There are some of you, your people here today, carrying burdens that are so heavy. But Lord, this does not exempt us. Regardless of our burdens, regardless of our circumstances, you are bigger than it all. Yes. You are greater than it all. So Lord, you want us as your children to be overcomers. You want us as your children to be the light in this dark region. How else can we be lights if we are dismal and dark and dreary and full of complaints? Some here today, Lord, who have been crying out to you to rid them of their situation, but they've been in it for years and years and years, and it seems like the children of Israel, they are in this bondage, never-ending bondage. But Lord, today, I pray that each one of us would have this revelation that we can get out of whatever situation we're in, we can just praise you. Help us, Jesus, that we will look above our circumstances, that we will look above our situation and see you. See you high and lifted up. In everything we must lift you up, Jesus. And everything, help us, Lord, to praise you and glorify you. Oh, Lord, forgive us for feeling sorry for ourselves. Forgive us for prayer pride in our lives. Forgive us thinking that you don't care about us. Forgive us, Lord. Today I pray, Father, in Jesus' name, that you'll reach out and touch your dear children. But Lord, we'll be changed. We'll be a thankful people 
In everything we'll thank you. Whatever happens, we will thank you. In whatever situation we find ourselves tomorrow, we will say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We know that you are in control. We know, Lord, that you are with us. We know, Lord, that you are for us. And so we can say, thank you, Jesus. Even though the burden may be so heavy, even though the hurt may be so sore, oh, Lord, I thank you that we will have the courage to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In everything, we will say, thank you. Oh, make us a thankful people, Lord. Help us to be a thankful people. Lord, save us from the attitude that the children of Israel had. Save us from that attitude, oh Lord. Take us away from that attitude. And give us a thankful attitude, oh Lord. Give us a praising attitude, oh Lord. Give us an attitude of joy as we come into your house. Lord, and as we go back to our homes, help us, Lord, take this joy into our homes. Not the sadness, not the condemnation, not the poverty, not the sickness, not any of that. Let us, Lord, this morning, take the spirit of thankfulness Knowing that even in this situation, you'll bring us through. Whatever it is, no matter how deep it is and difficult, nothing is too big and difficult for you, Lord. And so I pray, Father, that our faith in you will arise to new heights. Our confidence in you will go beyond that which we have experienced before. And we will know you, Lord, like we've never known you before. Father, every limitation that we have put around us today, today in Jesus' name, we push through this limitation. We will all experience in the spiritual a breakthrough of dimension beyond what we have experienced. Today, Lord, I speak a breakthrough over your children. A spiritual breakthrough. No more sorrow. No more pain. No more suffering. A breakthrough, Lord. A breakthrough over your people. And praise will pulsate them to new heights. New heights today, Lord. Praise and thanksgiving will take them and break that bondage in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. So Lord, I pray that every one of us will understand that we too can be chained like Paul and Silas were chained in a dark dungeon. But praise will break our chains. Praise will break the bondages of sin in our lives. Praise will break the bondages of the enemy. And we too can walk free in your name. Father, I speak this over your children today. No more bondages. No more pain. No more suffering. Lord, I pray a new freedom in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let's stand at this time, lifting up our hands and start praising the Lord. Thank Him right now. Whatever situation you are in, thank Him right now. Give thanks to God for your situation now. Thank Him in that situation. Tell Him that you appreciate Him. You love Him. No matter what it is, give thanks to God with a grateful heart. Give thanks with a grateful heart. He is good and He is worthy. He's worthy, my brother. He's worthy, my sister. Praise 